This is the story of Otherworld's Laboratory. GM underscore Otherworlds is a unique map that immerses the players in the mysterious and enigmatic world of Otherworlds Laboratory. Laboratory Otherworlds explores alternative realities, opening doors to unexplored worlds, each with its own laws, peculiarities, and dangers. Scientists were able to find ways to penetrate other dimensions, but with this discovery came new threats that were previously beyond human comprehension. The map is divided into several zones that differ in hazard level. Players can explore both relatively safe worlds, where minimal anomalies affect the environment, and extremely dangerous ones, where every step can be the last. The worlds on the map are not just physically dangerous, they can distort space itself, affect the mind, and pose man-made threats that go beyond conventional technology. Each reality, and it's all blacked out. Ladies and gentlemen, today welcome to Otherworld's Laboratory. Today we are back here in VR Gary's Mod, and what I wanted to do is go and do a bit of an exploration video. Because it has been a very, very long time since the last time I've really hopped into the game and done something like this. This is something that I personally really enjoy doing, especially when it comes down to any games for that matter. Whether it be Bone Lab, whether it be Gmod, I mean, gosh, you name it, man. I just love the idea of being able to go and play these immersive experiences where we go and explore just very unknown worlds. So it looks like we're here in the containment area alpha, whatever that means. I did bring my handy dandy little flashlight and I just stuffed some, you know, double A batteries in the back. So it should be lasting at least the whole time while we're here. But it looks like we got a note that just speaking absolute gibberish. Number 3181, but everything else, I don't know what language that is or if it's even one that we should know. Because from what I've like learned about this map, just from reading about it, it's the fact that it's supposed to be all about other worlds, right? So you're not necessarily just going and exploring something that you're familiar with, but we're going to be hopping between dimensions as we go through this. And it looks really, really incredible here in the headset. My only question is, what did I just do? I did an oopsie. I clicked a little button and things went kablamskis. What about these lights? Can I do anything with the light bulbs or the light switches? What is this? <laughs> Wait. I don't like the fact that these doors keep closing on us. Hello? Can I reopen this? Can I just like, hello? Okay. Well, the door's locked behind us. We didn't even have a chance to explore the other stuff. But we got some type of, like, little music board here. We got Alphonse Libre Life's a Beach or a Biatch. Can I grab any of these and, like, put them on? That'd be really cool if you could. And I do want to make sure that everything's good to go here. It looks like we are A-OK. -okay. So what about this? Can we start any music? I wanted to put, like, a vinyl on there. It'd be really interesting. They got all these photos on here, too. Whoa, they got a bunch of Gary's Mod photos. And then, like, some real life ones, too. Interesting. Oh, my God. This is going to be so fun to just, like, go and explore. Because I really haven't done much when it comes to, like, the Gary's Mod modding scene. Especially in virtual reality. Can I crawl under this? <gasps> that is why I love VR so much. Oh, my goodness. Okay, can I open any of this stuff? I want to, like, interact with everything. But some of it just doesn't let me do it. beep 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 Okay, none of this stuff can be grabbable. But I know I can find something to do. Oh! I'm stuck inside this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go this way and squeeze under the little bar there. But I really wish you know what? I guess I didn't try to get drinks. That might be a good thing to try. Let's see you. Can I interact with you? Hello. Oh, I've no clips. I didn't mean to do that. That's an oopsie. Okay. So it looks like I can't interact with any of that stuff. Is there like a crouch button? I can't remember if I can actually like do a crouch or if it's just, oh, that's teleport. Okay, we don't want to do any teleportation. I don't want to cheese any of the map, but I'm already really digging the style of this. But so far, I'm not going to lie. It is a little bit creepy weepy that I walked into a little bar area and then just led to nothing. Can I open this? Hello? Oh, you gotta love the Gmod doors, man. It's just a typical bar. That's it. 
We just have a little bar here. We got some pool table stuff. Can we actually play any pool? Can I grab any of this stuff? Nope, so none of that is interactable. But we do have a laptop. It looks like it's a link to someone's you YouTube. I was trying to talk about your channel there, but uh, yeah, you kind of scared the crap out of me with whatever you were doing. Can I grab any of this stuff? Oh my god, look at those magazines. I will be taking those, thank you. Okay. I really wish I could grab some of these items, but it looks like most of this stuff is just baked into the map itself. Oh, the sound design is so, like... It just throws me back in a time machine here in this stuff, man. But how am I going to get out? Because there's not really anything I can do, right? Unless I can hit, like, the light bulbs, or... Can I unlock it through the wall? Aha! Get on! That's how you do it! Ha <laughs> ha! That's the beauty of being vr -ified. Unless, is there another way I should actually get out that's legitimate? I should probably check that first. Like, is there, like, another switch or something I can mess with? So, it looks like we are gonna have to go and do our little, our little secret method, which is clicking through the door. So, if we just grab here. Nice! <laughs> the beauty of virtual reality. See, you gotta think outside the box, ladies and gentlemen. But does that mean I'm also stuck here? I don't know if I can open this door. Oh, wait, I'm kind of just stuck here, to be honest. There's really nothing I can do. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? Can I get out? Thank you. Okay, so screw that room. We are done with that. We need to go and find our way over to number 7561, which is just a ordinary looking room here. We got a coffee matic. Interesting. Can't play with any of the switches. What about the telephone? Nothing there. I really hope this isn't an actual horror map, because I will be absolutely terrified if that is the case. But these computers are super wonky. What weird-looking things, man. Let's go and open you up. Okay, so every time you interact with this, it basically shuts off the other side. Ooh. And this looks pretty nice. Can I grab some of this stuff? <gasps> yes! What I just... Oh. Wait, I can just pick them up? Bro, this mod is sick. So I just downloaded, like, a VR mod that lets me, like, interact with items from Gary's mod. What? Oh, is it a show? Oh, here we go. What was that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is great. Definitely not creepy at all. What the frick balls? We got a bunch of drawings on the walls. It looks to be, like, some type of kid's room. I don't like this at all. As great as this music is, and as much as I do love the vibe that you guys are trying to deliver here, I don't think this is for me. I'm going to be completely real. Um, I want to go home now. It was fun. But let me at least just check out a few more things in this room. Huh. Later, coffee cup. What do we got here? <laughs> a, little, a little bunny rabbit. How cute. Okay, so it looks like just a normal calendar here. And the magical world of Tobiel. Interesting. What? Okay. Box, you can go that way. I don't need you. I don't need you anyway, Mr. Box. What is going on over here? We got an interesting... It looks to be cereal or something? Or like chips? <laughs> I don't know what that is, man. I gotta assume they're pouring cereal into the bowl there. We just got a bunch of moving boxes. Can we just... Can we move all this stuff out of the way? Yeet! I want to see if there's any cool items waiting to be picked up. Okay, I can't pick up with the other hand. But I can work with this stuff. Can't move any of the speakers, and it doesn't look like there's anything else in this room. So I guess I'm just gonna go and make my way out of here. Possible! Thank you! The beauty of Gmod's physics in the year of 2024. How do I get out? There's gotta be like a button or something that I'm supposed. <gasps> Wait, is that the freaking. like ramen or whatever? Can I eat it? Num nums? What do I do with this? I have no clue what I'm supposed to do with this. Do I bring it over? They put it on the table? Like, I don't know if these are like puzzle rooms or something. It's hard to say what's actually happening here. Food? Okay. I don't know. They got like a nice little family photo. But like, what am I supposed to do here? I saw on this drawing, it was to pour whatever that is into a bowl. And I would assume it's the ramen that we were just looking at. I, I don't know what this is. What is this jazz? I mean, it's a very great JPEG of ramen noodles. You gotta love it. 
You gotta love it, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, could I interact with this stuff? What does this do? I was hoping that there would be like an actual switch or something I could find. But also another thing to mention too, is the mod that I currently have on, I can actually feel the weight of these objects compared to before. So like with this chair, it's got like a little bit of like more physics to it than before, which kind of helps with like throwing and picking it up and all sorts of things like that. But let me just see if I can reach to this other side. Chair, you need to move out of the way. Thank you. And then let me just go ahead and touch this little button and get the heck back outside. I feel like I'm probably missing puzzles that I was supposed to interact with, but uh, you know what? If this method works, we're gonna do what we can, okay? So once that thing goes back down, this little guy should open back up. If I got this right, please. Voila! Thank you very much, Mr. Door. I would like to go and adventure more to Numero 103. All these rooms seem pretty dang casual. Nothing too fancy-wancy going on. But can I grab these cups? Let me reach. Nope. So those aren't interactable. We just got all these funky-looking computers everywhere. We got all these papers. Whatever this is, we got... It looks to be some flights. Okay, interesting. Well, let me go and open up this door. What do you have for me, Mr. Door? Ooh, a classroom. Because this isn't weird at all. I'm already really loving the vibe that you got. What the? Why does that move the way it does? Can I pick you up? Whoa, the lighting's really good, though. What? Why does the lighting look that good? It's so weird. Can I interact with the sink? Turn on. On, you stupid water. It's a gigantic ass plant. <laughs> this thing's huge. Huh. Can I, like, break it? Oh, God. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um, let's, uh... We'll take care of you. We'll fix you. Okay, maybe I won't. Um, you know that thing I said? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go onto my empty hands and pull you over here. So I could just... Oh. If I put it in the wall, that's what breaks it. <laughs> you put it in the ground. Ah! <laughs> I have the power to break the map. Look at what I'm doing now, ladies and gentlemen. That plant will forever be guided into the wall. But what else do we have? We got a printer. <gasps> no one likes printers. We got a ooh, keyboard and mouse. Yo, gaming it up. Nothing with the computers. Can I break any stuff? So this must have been computer class. Actually, this is probably just the, like, teacher's desk, but we'll call it computer class. Okay, I'm going to leave the plant there. There is something just sitting up here. Is that a cactus? I couldn't grab it. Aha! Yes. I have now got the the pee, -pee cactus. <laughs> what is this thing doing here? Can I open these up? Okay, nothing with the drawers. Am I just stupid? Because I feel like a lot of this stuff should be interactable, but just not letting me do it. <gasps> I'm not going to be able to get out. The method that I've been using all this time is now broken. Oh, God. I actually have to escape. Can I shoot anything? What about crowbar? Nothing there. Oh, snap. We can break the computer open, though. Can I grab anything in there? I might be a little bit crazy. But why in the heck? Can I not see what's inside of here? Is there like... Am I in like the Truman Show? Is that what's going on right now? I have no idea what's happening. I'm so... <gasps> I bet I can break you. I cannot break you. But you know what can? <laughs> Rocket launcher! Kaboom! Kaboom! Okay, that's not going to work. Um, so I think we were supposed to be doing an escape room this entire time. And I've just been cheesing it. Whoa, what is that reflection, though? That's really interesting. Okay, is there anything that I can just, like, grab on the walls? Or can I clip through, like, the back rooms? That'd be kind of cool. I'm going to break the crap out of this PC until you give me everything. What do I need to do? Why? Whoa! Wait, I can grab all these pieces? That's actually really interesting. Okay. So what we got are... Yeah, I can't grab the motherboard. It's too close to the ground. What is you? 
Oh my god, we got a junk ram stick. Ew, we got just a bunch of broken stuff. Interesting. Okay. So how do I leave this room? Can I just knock? Knock, knock. Can you let me out? Please. You know what? I'm gonna do the super epic kablam. And then we'll go, ooh, we somehow magically clipped through the door. Like, oh, I didn't mean to re-click click that. But yeah, look at guys, it's like I just made it out of the room. I magically somehow managed to get to the clicking device to exit the room and come back home. This is great. This is awesome. Get baited, boy. Let's go, get me out of, <gasps> wait. Is that what I was supposed to do like this entire time? I was supposed, <gasps> bruh. You can bait out the doors. Wait! Is that what I had to do this entire time? Okay, let me go back. Can I do that with all the doors? So if I hit this button, like so, and I bait this out, I might be able to do this again. Let's see. I want to try it one more time. Let's wait for it. Go! Aha! Wait, no. Okay, does it go back up? How did I do that before? I have no idea what I did before. Oh, oh that's how I did it. Boom! I have to I have to stand when the doors go and shut and it breaks it. Aha! I found my method now. So let's try this one more time. So if this shocks up, we go. And I stand right about here. I should be able to block the door from going all the way down, which forces both doors to stay open. Meaning, I can go and explore all these rooms. <gasps> can I just grab an object and do this too, instead of using my head? Genius. Okay, we have now found the consistent method of keeping our rooms open. Which this will be great, because then we can know which ones we've actually explored and which ones we haven't gotten to. But there are a ton of them, which is just great. Can I pull this? Pull the fire alarm. Got some water. Water. And we got another room that looks very alike to our other one. Are you interesting at all? Can I do any little doodads with you? Okay. I really hope that we don't get ourselves into, like, some dark creep. Ooh, wait a minute. This is giving me some Bone Lab vibes. Or, like, some Bone Works vibes. Like, some melon. Some melon bizwiz. Okay, so let's wait for the door to go shut. Nice. Should keep us open. Perfect. We've gotten it figured out now. We got a big old trash can. We got a bunch of bottles too. What the heck is all? Ooh, I better. Ah! What have I done? What have I done? Why? Why was I automatically walking that way? That was so weird. Uh. Can I break you? I want to break you. Um. Okay. How is that bottle not destroyed? What? Yeah! Hey yeah! Bang! Bang! Dude, some sharpshooter over here. God, these weapon models look so incredible too. I love it. I wonder how the actual VR version of this looks. Okay, so the VR version does not look as good as the weapon models that I got with these other ones. Ooh, we got an open mic night going on and an extra door! <gasps> what are you? I don't know who you are, but I want to figure it out. Um, can I go up? <gasps> oh! It was a child! <laughs> I'm, uh, this is bad. That was an oopsie. Oh, God. What have I done? Hello, little child. What brings you to the creepy weird place? I also shot right through. His <gasps> Why did he go flying so fast? Okay, you know what? Let's just make sure that he doesn't come back. Okay. We'll just do that, and that should be... Oh my goodness, dude! The chair went flying! Thanks for coming out, guys! It's been great! Goodbye! Oh my god, the chairs just go freaking flying! Okay. Well, now we're back to it. Um, I feel pretty safe that everything's now destroyed in this room. And, uh, you know... Hopefully they don't write about that in the news. Because that wouldn't be great, now would it? Okay. So let's go and explore this next door though and see what is behind here. 
lot. How about a crowbar? Hiya! Hacha! Ah! Still locked? Bruh. You can't be serious. This man is jabating me. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Okay? That's some big old bogus. Is this getting brighter? Okay, no, we're good. Sweet. I think I might have just glitched out my flashlight. Am I walking? No, I went that way before. Okay, so I've already explored numero three. Wait, I can't speak. I've already explored number 9350. Okay, so I need to go to number 4674 and see what is inside of this good old place. There's a bunch of notes. Everything feels pretty normal so far. Like, to be completely honest, I haven't been, like, you know, really surprised by anything. Like, it's been pretty dang casual. <laughs> As I say that, we are now within Minecraft in VR. So that's that's great. I'm going to wait for this door to do its thing. Okay. And we debated it. But ladies and gentlemen, look, they even left us a cake. How great is this? Oh my goodness, dude. This is perfect. My life is now complete. Like, this is amazing. Can I eat it? Or can I shoot it? <gasps> wait, I can definitely grab this. Come on! I want to eat you. How about pistol? Okay, I can't do anything with that. But I do want to make sure this thing is reloaded. Oh, what's that sound? What? What was that? And also, how do I reload this magnum? Oh, definitely not that way. Oh, that's why. I wasn't out of bullets. It's so weird seeing the actual animation. Look at all these. Can I grab the chair? Nope. Can't pick that up. Interesting. Very, very weird. We got a little TV system, and then this is showing off what? I have no idea what that is. I'm guessing it's either a half-life or whatever type of thing, but I have no idea what that is, to be completely honest. We got a bunch of Minecraft stuff in here, and we just see this into the abyss. Is there any way that I could smack this with a crowbar? Okay, nothing with that. I don't know why my flashlight's still on. Hello? Is there a way to turn this stupid thing off? I keep accidentally turning it back on my main weapons. Nothing to do with this. I can't... <gasps> I can open the fridge! Ayo! What's in the freezer? What you got, boys? What you got? Up in the goodies. What are these sounds? What? Huh? Okay. I can hide inside of this thing? Bro! Oh my god, this would be so fun for some, like, VR hide-and-seek. I would be so down to do some videos of, like, Gary's Mod hide-and-seek with this. This would be so sick. You can open even the bottom ones! Why can I not do this with the other... other places? I feel like on some of the other parts of the map, we were probably supposed to be able to interact with stuff, but we weren't able to at that time. Does this turn on? Nothing with that. What about the furnace? The bed? Can I sleep in it? I just want to sleep. I'm going to try to interact with everything now. Because some stuff works. Oh. Hello? Telephone? Telephone? Let me... Yeah, come on. Yeah. It's too low to the ground. I bet I can grab this one, though. Hee hee. Come here. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Weird. Okay. I don't know what is with all these random noises, but... I'm going to go and leave while we can... I assume this door cannot be closed. But uh, now we're getting to the funky wonky stuff. Like he was saying before. How we have like basically portals to other worlds. Okay. So it started off pretty dang normal. And also these filing cabinets keep getting more and more sporadic. So I guess we'll go and check this out quick. Make sure all this stuff is good to go. Um, it looks like all this is pretty darn normal. But I do want to make sure that this does not... Oh god. I don't like this one at all. Okay, let's just make sure that this doesn't fully close on us, okay? Because this is probably our creepiest room so far. Oh my god. Why is there just bricks sitting there? Hello? Bruh. Can I open these lockers? Or can I hide in one? I want to relive my high school experience. Like, come on, bruh. Why do I feel like I hear stuff? Weird, okay. 
What is this? Bro. There's just so much random stuff sitting here. Oh my god, why did that... S it's a mattress! What is a mattress doing here? Come here, mattress! Oh, this stupid box is in the way. I'll have to break you later. Can I grab this? Nope, too strong. Oh, that is so satisfying. I will break you. Oh, wait. It makes even the physics of my crowbar slower. It's so weird. Okay. Well, we destroyed all that. And there's some weird noises in that opposite room. So I do want to go and ch check that out. If possible. Oh, fun. I'm going to go and bring Mr. Teddy in here. Because I feel a lot safer with this man in my hands. Okay. This will be great. Mr. Teddy. Okay, I'm gonna just go and break all this stuff because I don't want to deal with you. Okay, so break these stupid boxes and make sure there isn't anything. Ooh, wait. A missing texture. Is that a button that we can mess with? Anything interesting over here? What the freak? I broke something. God, <laughs> it's a big ass door. Okay, cool. And then we just have some other random items chilling here. Isn't that just marvelous? It doesn't seem like there's anything too special over in this area. So we should be basically ready to go. I'm gonna just go and run, okay? I wanna say we've cleared most of this room out. We checked out all the items in that little area. So now I wanna see what's beyond in the beta section over here, because this sounds mighty, mighty interesting. The alpha zone was pretty relaxed and we spent probably about an hour throughout the entire zone, and it looks like we have a lot more places to go. Because I don't think it's only like these small little rooms that we have to go and visit. There's like diff like designated sections that we can go and visit as well. Which we are now in the beta section. Heck to the yeah, man. And this is looking a lot creepier than the last one. So we just got some random lights over here. Okay, is there anything that we can do with this glass? Glask. Okay, no, we can't break the glass. <laughs> can we run to the other side, maybe see if there's other rooms? Oh, there are so many doors in here. Why did this just, sh like, shut off? How did I do that? <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so there's, like, an actual other button I can use to flicker this on and off. Oh, I am so stupid. Okay. I can remember this. I can remember that. And there's a bunch of shocks going on. I want to test these doors once again. Hopefully the, the same method that we had before works in these rooms. And this is already looking a bit more on the normal side, luckily for us. I need to also not die because we only have 8 HP left. And I'd prefer not to, you know, possibly get killed by anything in these zones. There's a random propane tank just chilling over here. Can we somehow do something with that? <laughs> Let me go and pull up a pistol and just... Is that... Okay, I was gonna say, that thing should have exploded. We've got some random melons chilling over here, some Mountain Dew, paint cans, and that's probably gonna explode. Right? I'd have to imagine. Does it not blow up? <clears throat> Grenade! Oh, I gotta move. That might hit me. Okay, we're fine. Do I hear music? <gasps> There's a radio. Mr. Radio. Are those more grenades? I don't know what to think about this thing. Can I smack you with my crowbar? <sighs> Stupid radio! Stop playing your dumbass music, man! What are you? What is you? There's definitely something in the other room that's just like going crazy mode right now. I don't think there's really anything else to go and explore in this room, so we can go and make our way over there. I want to figure out what that noise is. Because that sounds spooky and dangerous, and I want it. Okay? As dumb as that probably sounds, I'm going to do it anyway. I just want to see it. So I'm going to go and clear this room out and make sure that this is all good to go. I would imagine it's probably over here. Can I put any items to block this too? Other than me just standing in it? I was hoping I could maybe like block it some way. Whoa! Wait a minute. This is our first like super, super cool room. Okay. Door. Go back up, please. Yeah. Okay. And we're good. Okay. What is beyond this room? Whoa, it's like our first no clip. Let's go. Okay, so we are in like this very liminal showery looking area. Or maybe it's just a pool room. 
Pool room. Let's go. <gasps> nice. It's even got like actual water physics here too. Interesting. Okay. So we got the pool room. Is there anything else in here? Is it just legit a regular pool? Nothing too crazy about it. Sounds like I heard other footsteps though. That kind of tripped me out for a moment. What a weird freaking room. Okay. So that's our first... So that's our first room that we found that was very, like, liminal in a way. As I say that, we're literally walking through a hallway with a bunch of benches that shouldn't be sat the way that they are. Things are getting more... What? Okay, my dog just started making weird grunting sounds. <laughs> I thought it was the map for a second. That scared the crap out of me. But number 2323... This is where stuff is starting to get very, very odd. Because these sh things are already shocking. And that usually only happens after we've interfered with it. I want to make sure if there is anything wrong with this that we can we can break it now. <laughs> can I, like, break this thing, too? Oh. Nothing with the door. Can't break the computers. Nothing that I can do with this. So I'm just going to trust that this is going to work. Right? Let's see what happens. Ooh, it's like super overloaded. Oh, this looks like a very dangerous room. Anytime that there's like a red light, that probably means naughty no-no. And there's a random like Slenderman drawing with an umbrella. Bruh. What is happening right now? I don't like this at all. Like, no joke. This is very uncomfortable. Hello? If there's anyone that's, like, alive and out here, if you don't mind showing yourself prior to me being scared the absolute crap out of, that'd be, oh my god, it's a kitty! It's so cute! A cute little cat. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm gonna break all your stupid gaming setup, bruh. Oh, okay, I think I'm just going crazy. What the f- It made, like, a weirder sound. I'm gonna hit the button. There's, like, just random electricity coming from here. Okay. Oh, there's a ladder right here. What am I doing? Okay. Perfect. And we have whatever this thing is. Great Gmod textures. We have a huge server room going on over here. Interesting. And we got Chinese food. What is this? Bruh. Literal Chinese food. God forbid people are trying to eat and live their lives. How could they? Oh, what is this? Can I, like, read this at all? Let me go to my flashlight. My handy-dandy flashlight. The Mark V Hazardous Environment Suit. And then a bunch of whatever font that I can't really read in other text. Because it's, what just happened to my hand? My hand is gone. Okay, attempt number two. Because for some reason, my stuff went wonky wonkies. And now we're back to the beta place. Heck to the sham. Oh, whoa. I did not mean to swamp that. Okay, so what rooms did I already adventure? I want to say 2525. We definitely did not visit. What the frick balls is this place? Okay, wait a moment. I don't like the way this sounds, but we're going to check it out anyway. I definitely did not see this place. What the frick is this, bro? We got the setup. Okay. That does not look great, though. What the freak? No, I forgot to... God dang it, man. I forgot to keep the door open because I'm stupid. But look at these beautiful images. Everything looks so great in here. It's so chill. We got the annoying orange. Oh, God. Okay, isn't that just fantastic? We got a Borber! Oh my, I want you. Come to me. It's just a bunch of random items. Okay. Dude, look at all these custom items. Can I grab these? No! There's a Monster Energies, Doritos. They got all the goodies. Every last one of the goodies. What am I doing here, man? Oh my god, it's like just like a hangout spot. They got the PSVR 2, bro! <laughs> or PSVR 1. Sorry, they got the Game Boy here. What the freak? They even got the OG PS3. Oh, baby. This is my lounge. They got a PS4 as well. What? We'll just grab. 
Did I just actually get an item? Did I just magically get myself a PS4? What kind of games did he have, though? That's the real question. So he's got what? Marvel Superhero Squad. He's got some Lego games. Wii Super Mario Bros. Of course, is just the way to go. We got what is that? I can't. I can't read it. Damn. Oh, we got Super Smash Bros. Brawl. There's no way I couldn't see that. Is that Cody Black Ops? <laughs> Black Ops on the Wii was god awful. It was fun, but it was awful. We got the PlayStation 2 up here, and we got some other like little little diddly doodads. JoJo posters. Okay, wait a minute. Zawodo. Zawodo. We got a bunch of other what? Metallica CDs, Green Day. Oh my god. I could sit here for like days just looking at all the stuff. It's so weird to like see this in VR. You know what I mean? Like it's one thing to go and play the map, you know, on original Gmod, but to go and just actually explore it in VR is so cool. And the fact that he actually has a PSVR set sitting here is so cool <laughs> with the PS5. How did I not notice the PS5 initially? It's really cool. He's got the skateboard sitting on the walls with the Metallica stuff. It's just a really, really cool setup. I like this a lot. He got the guitars. Did I just start a mix? I want a CD. CD's nuts on your floor. Oh, I can't play that. That's copyrighted for sure. I gotta leave. Get me out of this room. It's copyrighted music. I need to leave. Okay, awesome. I need to go. Sorry, guys. It was fun. Can I get back here? Ooh, what is this? I want to squeeze through here. No. It was like kind of a cool secret room, but I couldn't do anything with it. Okay, now let me leave this place. I am out of there. Sorry. It was great to listen to Metallica and whatever else you had in there, but uh, I need to go to some other places. I feel like I've already been to 3248. I'm going to check it one more time just in case. But I want to say we definitely visited this room. Okay. Well, since we have, later, boys. We'll just go and like nade the crap out of this place. Oh, God, ow. Pain. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was a dumb idea. Done by yours truly. Great. Um, I may have started a fire in there now. That's just, that's awesome. Mentis? How did I not see this the first time? Okay, and we got some huge things over there. Technica. Okay. We'll go and check this out and see what exactly is behind these doors. I want to say this was the water room. But I might be wrong. Okay, no. What the frick is this? One second. I better make sure we have a save point here. Because this looks mighty, mighty interesting. I love the shadows that they have in this too. It looks so good. Cool. Alright. Make sure everything's good on this end. Looks good. Awesome. Dude, there's so many interactables. What? We got the little cupboards you can go and check out. This is a really cool thing. Does this actually magnify anything? <gasps> Whoa! What? Okay. What was that? Why well, just hear a dude? Am I crazy? Did someone just open something? I swear to God, I'm hearing, hearing something. There's definitely coughing happening in the other room. Okay, let me just move this out of the way for a second. Okay, I want to test this and see if it actually works. Whoa. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on in this, like, place. I'm gonna just, like, actually check this stuff out. I should probably have a gun out, to be completely honest. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Hello? Is there anyone inside of this room? He's dead. What? Nothing with the skeleton. Can I shoot the bottom? What the freak is going on? I know for a fact I heard someone coughing in here. Hello? Aloha! Can I interact with you? At all? He's like connected to all these wires, bro. This is like some Soma stuff. What the freak? Camera offline. Whoa. Okay, this is our first kind of like spooky dookie room. I'm liking this so far. Can we go up to the top and hit this? 
Okay, nothing interactable there. I just want to explore everything, man, because this is really, really cool stuff. We got a fan in there, some radio that's just, like, having some weird interference. Okay, I know for a fact I heard some more people here, though, so I want to see all that stuff. Let's see what's in store for us. What is this? Like, his bed? Yeah, there's still coughing going on. But what's behind here? Okay, that is some back rooms level stuff. That is super weird. Okay, you know what? Let me go back to this. I keep hearing a door moving. It's making me so uncomfortable. It's not here? Can I turn this off? Please? Wait! Oh my god. Can I, like... Awesome. I'm gonna move... Wait. Did I do that? I assume yes. I'm messing up the code. Okay, what does that do? Did I turn the fan on? It did. Okay. So we'll turn the fans on. I don't know what exactly that does. But we did it. So what does that mean? Does that do anything to you, my friend? I don't like the sound of that. Your fan's on. Are you cooling down a little bit, palio? Good old pal. Hello. Wakey, wakey. It's time to wake up. Time to go to school. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I just turned on the fans, but for what reason? I don't like the creakiness of all this stuff, too. Like, what are these sounds, bro? Oh, it's like... Okay, there's some definite weirdo noises going on. I am not a fan about this. I'm going to leave this room while we can. This stuff got mighty, mighty creepy. Very, very quickly. And why is, like, this light just here, man? It's like a setup for a jump scare. I am out of this place. Things got increasingly weird. And then it just got very uncomfortable for a moment there. So I'm just... I'm going to count, you know, our wins as we have them. We're still alive, which is great. But yeah, this is getting weird. What is this note? No clue what's going on anymore. I've definitely never been in the server room. So this would be... That painting is, like, eerie. I don't know how to explain it, but it just feels weird to look at. I don't like it. That makes me really uncomfortable. Why? Because <laughs> women scare me. <laughs> that's, that's not the case, okay? It's just... It almost felt like the eyes were, like, moving with me. And it just... It didn't feel good. I didn't like it. It made me feel a little bit oozy-woozy. Let's go and open this, though. I want to see what's inside of here. Okay. Door goes shocky-shocky. Whoa! Wait a minute. This is new. It's Christmas time. Kind of the wrong season, to be be honest, bud. It's almost uh, Halloween, but uh, looks like we're jumping ahead in time. It's Christmas. Can I... Whoa. Can I parkour on this stuff? Or can I mess with it with the crowbar? Okay, nothing I can do there. What about this? I'm like walking on the ceiling. Oh, this is super trippy. Okay. The door's there too. Weird. Okay, and then we got whatever this stuff is. I can't do anything with the other objects. I wish I could like grab them. Unless I can. I guess I haven't tried. Let me grab on to you. Nope. No shot. What's over here? I wish you could see it better. Okay. Well, this was the Christmas room, ladies and gentlemen. We got some little stockings and mistletoes. But what a weird and trippy room to be in. Especially in VR to see it that way. It just like throws me off. It's super, super odd. Okay. Well, let's keep track of where we've gone. So, this next one, number 554. I don't think I've been over here, buddy old pal. Buddy old buckaroo. 
So if you don't mind, let me see what you got up in this biz whiz. Whoa, wait. Ground node. What is this freaking room? I'm definitely keeping this door open this time. This is going to get super, super weird in a second. My entire, like, screen's, like, shaking and glitching. Whoa. So trippy. Can I open this? You know what? I'm just going to send it. Oh, my. Wow. Look at that transition. That's so weird. I'm going to keep that door open just in case. I don't want to risk it. As I say that, is it locked? Oh, no, we're good. Okay. I don't like the sounds of all this stuff, though. Is this heals? Yeah, there is something that isn't friendly with us. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Okay, can I grab you? Sodas? Give me sodas. I feel like that's making weird sounds. Very, very trippy. Okay, board. If you could move out of the way. Is there anything else I can maybe mess with? Can I, like, open this up? Oh, I do not like the sound of all this stuff. Nothing on the other side of this door. So it's just a random room with some Half-Life symbols, some Ganza soda, and this super weird freaking trippy area. Okay. I'm out of here, buckaroo. How do I reload? Uh, that is definitely not reload. Okay, so we visited all of these rooms. This all looks pretty good. I'm going to keep my pistol out just for the sake of I don't know what I'm about to walk in on. And this looks mighty new. Whoa. Cold drinks. I want them. Give them all to me. We got some candy bars too. Oh my goodness. We got all the vending machines. Can I mess with any of these chairs? Doesn't seem like it. What? Okay. This is super weird. We got another Coffee-Matic machine. <laughs> Did that just actually start blinking after I shot it? Okay. So this is just like a big meeting room. I don't know what to think about this entire thing so far. I do want to check just to make sure if there is something that I missed on any of these other ends. But otherwise, we should be pretty much ready to go and adventure around some of the other doors that we found here. This one looks to be the creepy lantern room. We have that done. I want to say we adventure this one too. Are all these? Oh my god, there's so many different paths to take though. I want to say we've been down here too, right? So door number 2323. 23. This looks familiar. I think we've definitely visited this. There's got to be another thing that we're missing here. I have not been down here. I would remember this if we have been. So, let's go and pull out the pistol just in case, because we never know what's going to happen here. And, oh my god, we're going to the Gamma Labs. Oh my goodness, and why is the door doing the door things? <laughs> what has happened to that, bro? This is probably where it's going to get freaky. Okay, so let me go and put this away. And we'll just go and hit the little baton. And let's get our game on. Gamma is cranked and ready to go, but would you just look? And what this place looks like. Holy Hannah. There is going to be a lot of stuff to visit here. And I'm guessing this is going to get, like, where it gets a lot more freaky. Because everything just keeps getting more and more intense, it seems like, for the rooms. Which is both really great, but also very, very terrifying. So, uh, let's just go and get this thing open. And see what the heck balls you got hiding behind here. We got a, whoa, What? Some sort of garage place here? Just make sure that this doesn't close on us once again. Okay, you can close whatever, thank you. We got a bicycle, we got a big ass truck. What is this place, bro? What's under here? It's just like, what was that? What was that noise? Can I break these things? I'm gonna try to. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, can't break any of the planks. Why does this, like, map kind of look familiar, though? It reminds me of, like, a prop hunt map. I don't like the creakiness of all this stuff, though. Whoa. 
It's like some type of like bunker hideout or something. They had health packs! Oh my god! Would you look at that? Your health packs are just laying around. We got some milk. Some other random jazz just sitting around. What is this? The Wildcat Daily. Wildcat falls under quarantine. I wonder if these are like actual real stories that they're listing on this stuff. Okay, that is super creepy and weird. You guys see this too, right? What is that? I don't like that. That's weird. Man oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we just opened up Pandora's box. Stuff is getting super weird now. We got this like super weird drawing here too. They are in the woods. I had to bend down to my floor just to see that. We got a radio. Can I turn that on? Weird. Okay. What is that? Some weird wall art. We got the American flag upside down. Well, with that, guys, I'm going to leave. Because I saw those super creepy, weird-looking things in those photos. And I would prefer to not experience that in the first hand. So it's been fun. Those spider webs, I can't imagine what kind of monster spiders you're seeing over here. But uh, I'm going to go back home. Where it's safe and sound. <gasps> what? No. Why would you do this to me? My hands are glitched again. Okay, now that we've checked out that room, let's go and see number 228. What are you hiding from me, good sir? Unless I've already checked this. I can't remember, dude. I'm so bad with my memory. Because for some reason, every no What the... Whoa. Wait a freaking second. What was that? Sick transition. Okay, please tell me you don't close me in here. Okay, is this door gonna close? It totally is. Oh, I don't know if I can get through there. So it's like a one and done. Okay. Let's see what happens. Cause what the heck is this? Metro Police, they're here for you. Oh my god. I don't like this at all. Does that mean something's actually coming for me? What? I don't like that. That's how we get out. What about this stuff? I probably shouldn't hit this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, this stuff just got infinitely more creepy. Should I even mess with this stuff? I kinda wanna try. Oh, they're breathing. Wait, so they're alive. Oh, dear God. I don't like this at all. Wait, they got a ton of guns, though. Okay, that's cool. So that would have been all the gear I would need. That's crazy. They got a bunch of stuff. Okay. Let me go and check this out. There's like a bunch of weird languages. There's a bunch of guns, random people tied up on that machine something are in our grasp console w breen bro what am i looking at i don't like this at all i'm gonna leave and get me the frick balls out of there no thank you you know that thing i was saying about this place getting creepier as we went on I think that case is standing very, very true. So we visited number 228. Wait, are all these doors locked now? Oh, dear God. We did a big oopsie. Oh, no. And it's so quiet. Why are all the doors locked now? I think we're in lockdown, which is not a good sign. Because that probably means there's something hunting us. And I'm not much about that. 
See, the thing is, I'm not used to, uh... I'm not used to Gmod, so I don't know what's possible to do with this modding scene in terms of horror, which kind of scares me a bit. We're in Lab 14, apparently. It's very, very open here. A ton of desk, and it looks like something must have went crazy mode while they were here, and it's just, it's so eerily quiet. And that's probably the thing that scares me the most, is because you, you get so much in your own head about this type of stuff. You know what I mean? Okay, so what did I do to get everything to go in lockdown mode? We gotta somehow relieve everything from lockdown once again. Because there's nowhere else I can really go, right? Because usually these doors are all like unlocked, but yeah, now all the doors are just completely shut down. To a point where I can't even go anywhere. So that room must be pretty dang important with whatever I did. I'm going to go back and see what's up. So let's go back here. I'm going to hit this little protocol thing once again. No, it's making the weird sounds again. What's this? What does that do? Hello? What are you, you machine? We got a dubstep machine. What? I am so confused. Something sounds like it's opening. Even here, dude. Like, I can't even leave the room. I'm just locked here. Strange. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and reboot the map once again. And I'm not going to mess with this room yet until the end. Okay, so there has been a lot of restarting and retrying on this map. I think it's all worth it because there is so much stuff to explore and I know for a fact that these doors were accessible prior to whatever I did in that room. So I'll come back for that. I want to just see what the heck was hiding behind some of these other ones. So we got Spiritus and Mentis, whatever that means. So I want to go and check this out, see what's hiding beyond these doors because we have a yet to see what the heck is in like half of these other rooms. Which, oh my god. Thank god that we decided to come and check this. There is something happened here. And it is not pretty. Let's make sure that we don't get locked in here. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy went psychotic. There's just random raw meat hanging on the walls. Your bones are his what? Your flesh, his sacrifice. He sees everything. You can't hide. He speaks through pain. Hear him. You better not make any noises or do anything to me, I swear to God. Okay, we're good. We do, we hunger. What? Oh my God. These rooms just like progressively got worse and worse and worse the more that we continue down this. Let me just make sure that there's things good. Wow. Like look at what happened to this man. He's half the man that he used to be. This is ridiculous. Okay, maybe I should have kept that door lock locked. Because obviously there's some sort of beast thing that we are not prepared to verse right now. And I'm very uncomfortable now. Every one of these rooms has been awful. So let's go and check out 352. I think this entire floor is the naughty no-no floor. At least that's what I'm gathering so far. Is like it seems like we have been in a pretty... Oh! This one's peaceful. Right? What is that? What is that sound? Stop. Something's creeping. I don't like that. There's just one chair. Stop. Why? Why did he just... Something happened. It turned red. Oh, God. 
What? What do we do? Can I sit in it? I don't know what to do right now. Um. Can I sit in the chair? What the heck is that? The floor is lava? Oh my god. Um, how do I get out? How do I get out? Oh. Can I hide under? Let's see. Up! Oh. It's like a survival thing. What? Yo, that's so cool. Too bad I died during it. Oh my god, how far out am I? Can I get back? Whoa, that was such a cool thing. Weird. I want to try it again. I want to see if we can beat it. Was it this one? I feel like it was this room, right? Oh, I can't even access it anymore. What about over here? Can I access any of these rooms? That was a really cool event one. Okay, interesting. What about you? Okay, so you can only experience that one one time. This is weird. Okay. So this one seems a lot more chill than the last one. There's definitely some blood on the wall, though, which isn't great. Not the most ideal thing in the world. It's like a random abandoned, like, grocery store or, like, gas station or something. Whoa. I don't like this at all. Leave now. They keep coming. No way to get back. Oh my god, the lore in this is so freaking cool! I love it so much. What is this? Can I see what's on here? I just want to listen to this thing. Hello? Can I twist the little knobbies? Haunted trash can! Oh, spooky! Oh, I'm gonna die now! There's a bunch of ammo laying everywhere. What about the phone? Ring, ring. You want to play a game? Good thing I figured out that you can do the door thing. Because, oh my god, that has been a lifesaver for half the times of going and escaping these places. Like, no joke. It has been amazing. Have we explored all these other rooms, though? Why do I feel like we definitely have not? Okay, no, we definitely did. Because that's meat room. This was chair room. I kind of want to, like, reattempt it and see if we could do it again. But I think we only get one try. What what else is in there? But I couldn't figure out how to like survive that game. I thought like it was gonna be like a floor is lava initially. Okay, so this one's gonna be number forty nine seventeen. What's beyond here, Mister Forty Nine Seventeen? Please don't be creepy weepy. Oh what? Yo, wait a second. Okay, this is cool. I actually really like this room. This one's just interesting. Let me go back to here. And I want to go check this room out. This is probably a trap room to go and grab this, right? RG. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Why did the head crab just spawn? That actually scared me so freaking much in VR, bro. I don't think I've actually ever seen the original head crabs in virtual reality. Oh my god. Back away, you stupid idiots. Back away, you stupid idiots. Back away. You know what? Screw it. VR crowbar. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, come here, boy. Come here, you stupid. Oh. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Um, can I have, like, a shotgun or something? There we go. Now we're... Now we're talking. God, that thing was disgusting. Look at these guys. Clear them off. Get out of here. I don't need you. I didn't need you anyway. <laughs> I love this so much. The ragdolls are so perfect. Okay, but how do I leave? Right? That's probably the real question. Oh my god. 
Okay, no, you're not dead. Maybe that's why. Were we the last one? Okay, no. Oh my god, nope. Dude, I do not like this in VR. Oh my god. The way they jump is just terrifying. No! Stay away from me! <laughs> no! Bad! How are you not dead? Oh my god. We barely made it out alive here. Okay. No. Bad. Bad. I'm going home now. Okay, this should be a great time to go and use that magic no clipping device. That lets me travel to anywhere. Definitely cannon. Okay. Where else do we have to explore? We've been here before. It looks completely normal. This we have not seen, which is the 1875. Okay. So what do we have in this room? Please tell me we don't have another survival thing because I am not gonna live to see another day here. Whoa! Looks like we have broken the simulation in this one. Okay, this is super, super weird. What the frick balls? I don't think this is supposed to happen, ladies and gentlemen. This is looking wonky. What the freak, man? Yeah, this is super odd. Okay, so yeah, these got a lot creepier and creepier the further that we went. Especially that zombie room, bro. Uh-uh. Not a fan of that one. Um, the super creepy one with, like, all the, the bloody text on the walls and stuff, that one was fairly creepy. I'm just, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the, the creepies, alright? I thought this was just gonna be a plain old exploration journey that we were gonna enjoy and have a great time with everybody. But instead, look what's happened. Alright, we got two locked doors. Is there any more that we can go? Is there, like, an escape anywhere through here? I'm really curious. We've checked mostly all of these rooms. This was back in the main station. Okay. So nothing here. Is there any other places that we have not been that we need to go and adventure? This one seems like we've already been here. Yeah, this was the red red chair. What else do we got? Yeah, this room right here is probably the creepiest. Like, no doubt in my mind, this one just makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I didn't even notice the zombie heads initially. Oh, God. How did I not see that? Can I open these things up? I want to see if I can open up the fridge. Nummies. Okay. No, we can't open up the fridge. Yeah, I'm going to leave this place. I am now officially creeped out. Okay, this was fun. This was great. Should we go and hit the last door thing again? I want to say this is the one that locked everything, right? I feel like something's supposed to happen in this room that we missed. Right? So this is the big boy room. Let's see if anything happens here. Because I feel like something's definitely supposed to happen. Let's see, can I press this? Nothing here. Nothing happens. Yeah, what the frick is happening here? Okay. Ten seconds till singularity. Okay. So do we have to just rush out of here? Let's go. Let's just rush. Okay, yep, we gotta go. Come on! Go! We gotta just run back! That's what we have to do in this one! Oh, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. No! This means all the doors are probably gonna shut, huh? Come on! I went the wrong way, didn't I? No! I definitely went the wrong way. Is that other door gonna close? Where'd it go? Where was it? <gasps> no, we're good here. Oh, wait a second. So I think 
All we had to do was get out before that one door closed. I thought we definitely had to like reroute back to the beginning or something, like a like a little race or a challenge that we had to do. No, we're good. What is all this sound? We can't even open this up anymore. Weird. Well, then that, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to make it for this video of exploring Otherworld's laboratory here on Gmod VR. If you guys want to see me go and explore other maps, whether it be like liminal or horror maps or even just regular maps in Gmod, be sure to let me know by dropping a comment down in the comment section below because this was an absolute blast. I had a really, really good time. And to be completely honest, man, I would love to do some more like puzzle maps or like escape rooms within Gmod. But yeah, other than that, guys, that's be it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Laters. I got some shells for you, boy. Oh, it's in his eye. Oh, I fixed it. I would have no. died. Well, no, right no, here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer. The consequences.